Okay, we are back. And I have a lot to show. I uh, did a lot. Um, I did the grinding for the Mercury. And, well, I have 20 points to use and a lot of money. I should actually have had more money, but I messed up and I lost from about 90,000 down to 45,000 uh, because Unseen A didn't kick in. Um, so, yeah. Uh, okay, let me start from the beginning. I was grinding for Mercury. Mercury being um, the fine powdered uh, material over here. Number three on this list. Over here. Um, they dropped from the red uh, red cards. And I used the... Um, I'll show you in a second. I'm not sure if I actually showcased uh, me putting a skill point into this. But I'll, I'll show you. This one, I did not put a point into this because there wasn't any point in doing so. This one, increased my drop rate. I used the Mibu Balloons. Possession. And uh, I rang the bell. I rung the bell to get a higher, much higher drop rate. And I did ground the Mercury. Um... In the process, uh, I actually turned out, it turned out I got the Mercury very fast. And I have a sneaking suspicion that we're rounding, we're getting to the end of the game. And I still need a lot of skill points to uh, like to unlock this. This alone is 9 points. I don't know what this is going to be. I don't know what this is going to cost. We'll find out soon enough. We'll get there. <clears throat> In that process, I did a lot of experimenting to see where I could get a good experience. And I came up with a couple of routes, and I actually want to show them. Um, in case someone is curious, we'll do it fast. Um, this one, we already know. Uh, the good thing about this route is that it actually drops the purple... Uh, the purple fat, the grave vax, which is also an uh, upgrade material I needed. It drops from the nobles. So yeah, this one I've showed before. It's a fairly simple route. And these guys drop the purple wax. If we get some. Didn't get any. No, we just... Yeah, we did. Lump of grave wax. So we got one right there. So you get those rather fast. Uh, another one I experimented with. Uh, which I did talk about. I just never really got around to try it. Is... Uh, Abusing the smoke, blood smoke, on uh, on the fish people that are standing on the balcony thing. Um, turns out it wasn't that good experience, actually. Uh, it's a lot of effort, um, a lot of movement to get to that point, only to kill a bunch of enemies that have 550 or so experience per kill, except from the one purple dude, which I'll get to. Uh, you gotta kill these first two. Can't uh, can't get away from that. And well, these you can maybe dodge somehow, uh, but the ones on the ground here they have to die because they will interfere. Well, not on the ground, but the floor. Below. Okay, so the way I did this, it's a little bit clunky, but it works. Sneak up. The moment this guy gets up. Here. Just very calmly walk over. Again. The problem is this guy is a little bit annoying because he jumps around and if he gets off the if he gets off the stadium here uh, yeah. 
So you run out of blood smoke before you can even assassinate him, so not that good experience. It takes quite a while to set up and the little ones don't drop that much experience. The other place... Um, and this is... I think this is the fastest one. I think this is the fastest. But it's also the most brain-dead boring one. Out of all of them. For sure, so I didn't do this. At all. I'll show you which one's the most fun one, and which one gives you the most mercury. At the end. So it's just... Oh! <sighs> I messed up. I messed up. Let me show you again. So yeah, the idea is you just kill him, you assassinate him. Um, over and over and over again. What the? Okay. So, can go faster, but I actually didn't practice this. So. Uh, I don't think this one's fun at all. Um, I did experiment with this one, as I did on the recording a couple of episodes ago. I actually did find a way to uh, drop from the ceiling. Um, I'll show it to you. Oh, crap. Yeah, so let's pretend like I got it. That's actually the first time I missed it. And they fought. Yeah, I gotta be careful about the little things that can break. It does alert them. Luckily, once you tip it one time, it's gone. Until you reload the entire place. Okay. Move over. And then you just stand right here. And you carefully walk. And then you get him. This guy's gonna spot you, so ignore him. And then there is a world... Okay, I uh, I was thinking about maybe using the flute to lure him uh, away from the corner and then stab him in the face, but that doesn't work. So yeah, you can get two of them for 2,000 experience. A lot of things can go wrong, I'm not entirely sure if I like this route. And you could also run into the room with the two purple ones after, after you go start from here. But that one was also very chaotic. Uh, if they make a wrong turn, they will see you and you can't stab them in the face anymore. So, where did I end up uh, grinding? Here. And there are multiple... There's two main routes, I think. There is one for maximizing the amount of kills per minute. If you want just want the Mercury, you don't give a crap about the experience. And I'll show you then. So you pop the balloon here. Then just go up here. These, are, these enemies are fairly easy to kill. 660 experience, so not tremendous amounts. Ah, messed up, but it's okay. And sometimes the distance between these two enemies are so far, like this, and this guy won't be alerted. Other times, uh, they're too close, he will be alerted, and all you do is just button mash, and he will break. Now, if I think I, think I haven't done any... Uh, test runs where I uh, recorded the time or anything, but I think this is where you stop if you want the most kills per minute And then you just go back up there rest and do it again um, Because it's faster to get up there and resting resets the enemies without the reloading However, if you want more experience, I think I believe Continuing up here Is faster because there are three enemies here that have 13, uh, 1300. Oh, I messed up. I'll, I'll sh I messed up because I was uh, standing still. There are three enemies here that uh, give you 1300 
plus experience, which is worth more than two of the riflemen, two of the little ones. And I will, I'll tell you where I messed up as well. There is one, one big guy that is kind of hard to kill in a straight up duel. Not hard, but it's very time consuming and it's not worth it unless you cheese it. And I'll show you which, what cheese I came up with <laughs> to deal with him. So I can show you what happens if the guy in front spots. If you have enough damage and enough passive ability, passive skills, you can just do that. Just mash your attack. Get up here. If you do it fast enough, you should be here. It's not dangerous if he's down here. You just walk up behind him and kill him. You go kill these first, because if you go kill that guy, uh, the attack, the battle on the bridge is gonna start. We don't want to do that yet. Okay. Now, this little dude, and by little I mean big guy, the only way I found to kill him fast and easy is this way. It's a little bit high risk if you mess up, and this is where I messed up today before I started recording. You die, he turns around to revive, and then you backstab him. <laughs> For a nice 1300. Well, I haven't, again, I haven't done the timing, so I'm not sure if it's worth it, but I think it is. And then another 1300 here. And then, if you like to do these, so just worth 600 each. I have to do them, but. The Ashina warriors aren't worth anything. And then you just drop down here. And... Well, that's it. You go back to the starting point and then you repeat. Uh, one water balloon will, if you do it fast enough, one water balloon will... Stay active for a minimum of one run. And that's the run I recommend. I don't recommend doing the most kills per minute, because you're gonna get the Mercury way, way faster. Uh, you're gonna get the Mercury you need way faster than you're gonna get the experience you need. You need so much experience, it's stupid. So yeah, that's what I came up with, that's what I've been doing. Um, I don't know if it's enough, uh, but yeah. Uh, regarding the guy that uh, we die to cheese. I tried it all. I, I literally tried all of it. I tried to bait him with a flute, but he immediately sees you. Again, I might be doing something wrong, but I couldn't make it work. I tried multiple times. He immediately sees you, so there is uh, no way to bait him over. I, I couldn't find a way to bait him over to instantly kill him from the air. I tried turning him around to just attack him. It's not worth it. You're not doing enough damage. This I didn't try. Um, I did try burning him. Fire works well, but it still takes a long time. Uh, the sparks still takes a long time to beat him. The umbrella I didn't try. I did try poisoning him, but you take a lot of hits and it takes a long time. Um, the flame spear actually works very well. But if you're gonna fight him, I found that the best one is Sparking Axe. Because you deal damage and you deal a lot of posture damage. So it's the quickest way if you want to fight him. But I don't think it's worth it. It takes too long, and you're better off just starting a new run. The, f the fastest way I found was to just die. Cheese to die, use the death cheese. I tried at various amounts of abilities too. I tried uh, Ishimonji, too slow, the Ashina Cross. It, it's not worth it. I tried using... Uh, this I didn't try though, but... Uh, I tried using the Puppeteer Ninjutsu and one of the other dual wielders. The one that is standing by the wall. Not the one you fight, but the one that you stab in the back. And, uh, yeah. Also didn't do much. Um, so yeah. For me, the fastest way was just to die. However, you can mess up, and I did. And I did lose half my experience bar. I was like a, a thousand experience away from leveling up. 
and uh, yeah, that hurt. Lost forty-five thousand gold. That hurt too, but you know, here we are. Anyways, it's a lot of talking, but I wanted to show you what I've been doing. Let's upgrade something. Um, Disappear and, dip and displays like the mist can be performed from both the assumed stance and after taking damage. Okay. Dyed red to resemble the great mist raven, the feathers vanish in a scorching wake. The great raven is a god of the land and the touch of gods is to be feared. Okay, it leaves behind a burning uh, thing. I think the, I, I like the idea of this uh, mist thing, uh, but it's a little bit clunky. Right, um, I haven't researched how to get this Azure Lazarite, because I suspect that there are some bosses that are going to drop it, and I don't want to spoil myself, because this is the endgame material. All the other stuff you can get earlier, but this is pure late or endgame stuff, so I don't want to spoil. I have four at the moment, and there is these two that cost three, and then these two that cost two. I am kind of tempted to get the Shuriken, but I don't really use Shuriken for damage, so I'm kind of tempted to get the Sabemaru. Poison Mist erupts. What's so special about the laser? Laser, laser light. I might have been calling it lazarite, but I meant laser light. The hefty laser light blade inflicts damage even on guarding enemies. The sound of the lapis la, laser light blade striking home creates a powerful reverberation capable of dispelling enemy illusions. Oh. Okay, so it has like the snap, snap seed effect. Cool. What about this one? What's so special about this? Damage even apparitions with its blazing purple flame. This flame does not, however, inflict burn status abnormality. The sacred lapis lazuli fires are divine. Cleanse the deep seated hatred with flame. I'm liking this. I mean, these are cool and all, but I already have something to fight apparitions with. And you can attack it, I suppose. You can, like, attack afterwards to use... to get the fire effect on your blade. But I already have that with the flame vent. I'm gonna go with the axe, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the axe, because... being able to... Dispel illusions without using consumables. I'm okay with that. Any right. more business? Now we just need to find more uh, Lazarite. I mean, well, technically, I could have just bought the Snapseed. <laughs> it's infinite supply of Snapseed. Until next time, friend. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hitting someone over the head with an axe. Technically, the Sabimaru one also seems very interesting. Anyways, let's just keep going. Let's uh, see what happens at the end of this, uh, uh, end of the outskirts. So yeah, a lot of explanation, but in case people were wondering how. Ah, when what I've been doing. Also, another benefit of doing this route is that it's longer, like the total run length is longer. So it gives the illusion of time passing. Uh, having to run back to the idol is a little bit uh, mind-numbingly boring. But not having to run back to the idol so often, it kind of helps with uh, making the run more interactive and fun. But I guess that's subjective. So. Anyways, let's see.
Let's try this thing out. These guys are annoying. They deserve a little bit of an axe to the head. Stop for that. Gonna drop down is. Yes. Wanna come down? No, you don't? Okay, I will come to you then. I think. This is annoying. Yeah, let's just restart this one. I should have paid more attention. That's, uh, I'll keep it, I'll keep it up. Those little guys are really freaking annoying. Really? Just making everything harder for me? Let's go deal with the little dudes first. Well, I don't think there's any way to deal with them that easily. There's three of these assholes here somewhere. Probably hanging off the wall. Well, hanging off over there, probably. Target him, please. Can't see the attack animation. Preserve some HP, I don't know what's at the end of this. Guys, your attack is so damn fast. Okay, where's the third one? Where is the third one lurking? I can see one up there. 
actually. There is. I hate these little fuckers. Excuse my language, but they're just so annoying. Thing over here. Oh. Well, that happened. I really don't want to waste my healing items. There's like a 90% chance there's something at the end and I don't know if there's an idol. How do I know? Because there's nothing leads... Like, there's nothing over here. It leads to nothing, so there has to be something special. to backstab this guy? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I thought I actually broke his posture, but I didn't. Okay, what type of enemies are we dealing with here? The worst kind, gotcha. And they're looking at me. Not sure if this is gonna hit. The mountain might be in the way. Nope. Buggy. Ugh. I call BS on that one. The flute should have gotten him. Wait. Stab him in the back. Be done with it. Did I pull him too far? Did his AI bug out? Maybe. It really doesn't bother me. The less I have to deal with those guys, the better. So what's happening here? There's a way up around there. It's probably like a way behind them. Do some sneak attacking. Never really figured out if there was something here. I remember talking about this. Is this a cave or... Did we ever figure that out? <laughs> I 
It looks like a cave. Can't really get up anywhere. There is no way I can jump across that. That ain't happening. It is a cave, though. <sighs> For science, let's see. No. I'll find out. I'll find out. Let me just go and deal with the last little... ...little dude. Is he actually coming up here? No, he's not. He is. but that's okay. I was actually just gonna check if I could get up here. I can. Care to purchase an offering? Do you have anything? No. I mean he has eel liver. <laughs> May the departed I could sneak past all of this, but what's the fun in that? Let's murder them all. Need experience. <laughs> Gotta watch out so I don't die. I shouldn't be greedy. The experience is more important. Let's use the flask. Is there a little asshole in the, in the grass here? No? Killed all the all the chickens. Nothing here. Those are some patrols. Where are they patrolling? I saw them walking down here. No? I saw two of them walk here, right here. So nice. How am I supposed to get up here then? Ooh. 
These lookouts are a little bit annoying. Let's uh, try sneaking up. There's no need to brute force. Alright. I mean, I could just run in and kill them all, but... Oh. Where's the fun in that? Where's the thematic fun in that? This is not the way to get up there. I really need to fi figure out what the hell that is. I remember pointing that out way back when we started playing. Really? Let's see what we got here. Oh. What the hell? How? How the heck? Okay, this is just... How you would see me makes no sense. AI. Makes zero sense. In the night, in the snow, you see a couple of fingers hanging off the wall. jump up to that one. How close are we? That does not look very close. I would like to get up there, though. Get higher. I think he's stuck. Yeah, our boy over here is stuck. Um, Couple of enemies, uh, couple of other enemies sneaking around in the area here.
Is he moving away? I think he is. Yeah. And then we just go deal with the final guy and then we actually fight this uh, brute. He's walking around as if he owns the place though. A little bit of a thug. Crap, I misclicked. I clicked on my healing. Right, well, I suspect we can remove one of his health globes by beating him. I mean, stabbing him. Why not? That guy's just burning because he's. Alright, he didn't want to live. Wait, I didn't get the experience? <gasps> you little poop. Okay, here's the problem with this. I'm about to level up. And I think something's gonna happen up here. So, oh, there's an opening here. I need to go find more enemies to kill. I'm not gonna lose half my XP bar here. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. So, give me a moment. Wait, I forgot to use my points. Oh my god. Oh my cookies. I actually forgot to use my 21 skill points. What the hell? Why didn't anyone tell me? Ay ay ay. Okay, Af next idol, I'm doing it. Next idol for sure. I'm doing it. Don't worry. There's a flamethrower, dude. There he is. There we go. Okay, well, um... I'm dumb. I'm forgetful, I should say. I don't really plan out any anything <laughs> that happens in this episode, so I forget anything. That's why. Right. That's it for loot and everything. You're done. No hidden loot, no azurite. I mean azure laser light. Probably not. Right, let's see what's here. Hundred percent sure boss arena. Oh man, not hundred, but Are those claw marks? Was burning, the fires raging, out of control, howling. It was intense. Yeah, howling. All right then. It looks like fire, so I'm just gonna... What the actual hell? Alright then, if you say so. <laughs> Oh 
Oh shit, I didn't put on the... Oh no, I misclicked. Well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna die anyways. I mean, I'm gonna lose my money, so it doesn't matter. I don't know which attack is. Is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're supposed to hook. Who can't do that, right? Well, we aren't doing much damage. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a sweep. me out of my I don't have any water cannons <laughs> What happens when I hook him? Hook thing. not doing it. manageable, it's just need to memorize the attacks. Oh, that, sh that 
that shit has to be jumped. Goes far. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, that's a new attack. And that's uh, speedrun. I should run the other way when he does that, because uh, I can go under his arm. Well, damn. Yeah, it's not like the hardest thing in the world, it's just some memorization. Huh, kind of cool. We'll deal with it. I could try to take a hit and uh, and uh, use anti-burning medicine to see like how much damage I take from it. Anyways, uh, we need to spend our points. I want to unlock this. Uh, this is a Senpo Leaping Kick, uh, a combined anti-air counter and sweep attack counter, follow up with a combination of kicks. Let's try it. Where is it? I think I saw it. There we go. So... Ah, uh, okay, so when they do sweep, sweeps, you can do that. Or you can hit them out of the air. Alright, cool. Kind of useful. Uh, more skill points. High Monk. The secret technique of the sample style, this adds sword slashes and additional kicks to the sample leaping kick. Sample Leaping Kicks, after Sample Leaping Kicks, High Monk. Perform several sort of- okay, I like this, let's use it. I mean, we're gonna get it anyways, so... What the? Used it wrong? After Sample Leaping Kicks... High Monk. Fairly short window. Okay. Seems cool. <laughs> Not very useful versus our current enemy. Anyways, how much? How many points do I have? Fifteen. I can get two of these. Okay, I only need five more. Uh, what's this? Combat art, shadow fall, an evolution of shadow rush. This is a secret technique of the Ashina Mushin compound style. After leaping into the skies with Shadow Rush, 
allows one to perform a spinning sword attack as they descend. Pierce, fly, and then dive back down, jumping off the enemy. Alright, okay, so after... We're gonna have to find someone to try this on, though. But what is this? Why is this 9 points? A sword technique that unleashes powerful shockwaves, cause spirit emblems to use. Its namesake comes, namesake comes from a large eddy of distant cloud forming near the headwaters, the Fountainhead spir Spiral. Tomoe would watch her young master as he gazed longingly at the coiling clouds. Sight meant everything to her. Deliver nine dancing consecutive attacks. These attacks emit powerful shockwaves. Well, costs nine, so it has to be good. Right. Eh? Ah, but... Hold on. Okay, each attack costs one. I was wondering why it said it cost only one. That seemed kind of cheap. I mean, I kind of like that too. That's actually maybe useful against this boss. Because he's so big. A secret technique using the Mortal Blade, cost spirit emblems use. By focusing one's mind before unsheeting the Mortal Blade, one can draw additional power, resulting in a longer range and more powerful slash attack. Draw the sec draw the sword that cannot be drawn. And it's basically the hold attack version. I'm gonna go with this. We'll get this later. Uh, and then maybe this, I guess. We can try this too. Uh, but tr let's try the... Um, let's try the... Shadowfall. Let's find an enemy. Where can we travel to find an easy enemy to fight? Our, our usual training dummy is gone. Um... All right, yeah, I think I read something about this. Hold on, hold on. Let's do this. I read about this when I was reading about the fish. I would never have actually checked this by myself, I think. Well, here, well, oh, right. Here. <laughs> it's the carp. We got something for this. A priceless white whisker taken from the great colored carp. While the great carp is naturally immortal, it killed. It, if killed, its whiskers can be plucked. The sound of the whiskers being removed is surely music to the ears of certain people. Some would feel relief at the sound of their mission being completed. Others, the joy of having their heart's desire granted. Well, dead fish. Let's see if we can stab it. Completely forgot about this, actually. Right, so let's take this back to the... Feeding grounds, see what happens. Oh, I know who we can test this out. Uh, the guy sitting on the... Uh... Master. You okay there? At last, my 
Okay. Thought he would be mad, but I guess not. Right, uh, let's... Uh... Mean to do it twice. All right. I mean, it's not that special. <laughs> I'm gonna put this th this thing on because it might be good. Uh, right. I guess there's uh, not much for us to do. We can put on. Ministry dowsing and uh, yeah, probably not gonna use the homeward bone. Dowsing powder. Is there anything else I would maybe want to use? We could try to see if we can stun lock it. It's a beast, kinda. Let's see if we can get through phase one without using anything. Uh, phase two seems a little bit harsher. Uh, we can try the... I mean, I don't think the... I don't think this is gonna work. Well, I wanted to test, but... Come on. That literally didn't do anything. <laughs> something else. Yeah, this cloud thing isn't doing much. Not a... Not a big fan of that one. I actually think... Nightjar is good because it's the only real gap closer I have. It's free. Yeah, let's see. Well, this is a pretty rip run, though. We'll try. We'll try our best. Let's, let's just die. We're just experimenting. The fumes didn't much. Can I use anything else? The axe, maybe? Nah, I, I don't think it's worth using anything. Keeping the shield up for those big blows, those emergencies. That's fine. That's good. We'll have to defeat him with mechanics. We can do it. Oh, I dodged. Disagree.
Let me fast hit there. We're not getting any hits. Oh no! That was a cheap hit. Cheap hit. Random hit there, got me. Almost. Yeah, okay. So, whenever he does those random ass moment, uh, movements like that, I should just back off, I think. I'm not using my gloves. Yeah. And also, I need to see if I can maybe deflect that uh, or block that stomp. Took a couple of hits from those. I also took a couple of whip hits that I shouldn't take. Those I can just avoid. Backstep uh, the step. Oh, going for four hits is a little risky. Be careful about that. the booty. I wish there was a way for me to punish that. Oh, he's doing the random thing now? Oh, that's good. Oh my god, I took a hit from that, no way. Yeah. Not worth it to go in for one poke. I actually have time to run in and slap him a little. Yeah, that's not worth it. The recovery is so fast on that. How? What? No, cheap hits. I disagree. That's bad. 
I need to reduce my posture. Take a chance here. Just gonna wait for a big one. Okay, starts to do more weird shit now. Like this. God hit that. Okay, I need to. All right. Oh, I have to use my uh, I have to use my shield for this. I have to be much closer. Ah, um. oh, miss. Okay. Gonna shoot. Yeah. And I missed times. Oh, that's a new one. But not new, but I didn't recognize the animation. We're a little bit in, in trouble here. Oof. Yeah, we gotta use all our points for that. All our spirits. Max Ranger can survive that. Damn it. I was about to use that, bro. Maybe there is a better way. Maybe I shouldn't stay so far away. I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll stick to him, see what happens. that all right yeah. we need to be a little bit more aware there has to be a way to fight him fast that's the thing I don't really want to do this like a long half an hour fight to get one one globe. There has to be a like, 
a way to just rush him down. Oh, it did do good damage. Ah, man, I need to be aware. out of position for that uh, swipe attack. Oh man. It's okay. We'll get uh, one life back here. Yeah, the, the only problem with this is that I need to dash to the other side here. I need to stay on his left. I mean, he's right. I have to stay here. Because if I don't, I won't have any chance of getting out of this sweep. I messed up. Mm. Well, let's keep experimenting. I need to figure out this attack pattern. I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, I need to be not so greedy and only go for like four-ish hits and then wait to see what it does and then just dash it. Uh, that's fine. It's unnecessarily. What? Come on. Attack. Yeah, I haven't seen that attack very often. <laughs> it's because I spent the first few attempts staying at range, I only familiarized myself with the medium and long range attacks, not the short range one. 
I can do it. I can stop that. Oh, I messed up. Right in the penis. Really jiggling too. Huh? I don't know what the point of uh, hooking onto him is. I don't really get much out of it. That's one I have to block. Yeah. That's the one I can't recognize. Because I haven't seen it too often. If I can deal with that one, I'm good. That and a couple of like the regular attacks. Then I think I'm fairly, fairly good here. That's not the one, that's the weak. Oh, that's the one. No, oh, no, I'm gonna... <sighs> that's bad. That's unlucky. That's unlucky. I need to. Uh, I need to be aware. Always move to the to my left. Always. I don't think I can dodge that from the right. a little bit lucky, I should have been punished harder, not gonna lie. Yeah, that one. Of the normal attack site. Oh, come on. I didn't know he could do two of those. Uh... That's my bad. Oh my god. Ooh, lucky. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that was messy. Uh, a couple of his quick attacks are a little bit hard to avoid. Also took a couple of hits I shouldn't have. It's not an easy... It's not an easy boss, just from the sheer amount of like, damage it deals. Not the damage, but how much life it has.
tried to dodge. Got stuck in attack animation. I spammed. Come on. That attack is nasty, the one that came before this. What the? Oh yeah, that one. How am I supposed to? Lost too much life. Ah, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. Fighting him like in an extended fight is very boring. So maybe I should use a sugar to. Uh... By the way. Get away from that one. Again. Okay. Yeah, maybe I have to like use sugars. A little faster. some damage there. Come on. Actually, I should be careful. He might shoot some stuff. Yeah. You come to me. And it's... Ah, uh, took too much hits. Too many hits there. I don't even think the fire matters that much. It's not even about the fires. Try... is it this one? Yeah, I really don't even think the fires are that big of a deal. Sugar doesn't last that long. I didn't get any anim- What? I didn't get any alert. I didn't get any alert for that. Ah, the sugar really doesn't matter. It's not helping. Yeah, I got 
I left, didn't see. Yeah, this is a rip run. But we'll try. No way, he just lifted his legs. And he made me miss the last hit there. I might have used that a little bit too soon. Bullshit! Oh, that's... Yeah, that was just unfortunate. Yeah, the sugar doesn't do much. I mean, it gives damage, but it doesn't last nearly as long as uh, and C need for two experience. <laughs> Just go for three hits at a time. It's a little bit close to the wall there. I don't like it. Walls are not my friends. Also use way too many spirit uh, emblems for phase one. Are you kidding? Well, at least that was a good run. I, I kind of have the first phase figured out there. That was just unfortunate. Um, yeah, I have to... Next time when I'm blocking the four hit attack thing, I have to move to the left. Move to my left in case he immediately goes into that... Uh, grabby nonsense. Can we give it one more try? Yeah, sure. I can. Always move to the left. Always, always. Pointless hit. That is definitely a pointless hit.
I was like right on the pixel. <laughs> If that was gonna. Oh, watch out. Let's shoot his thingies. Can I get him? I'm not gonna take any chances. I was gonna see if I could kill him without. That's just unfortunate. Ah. A little bit unsure how I took that last hit. Should be able to dodge it by just uh, circling. I'm trying to... Uh, if you're wondering why I'm not healing so much, it's because I'm trying to really conserve as much... for the next phases. That was unfortunate that he had to go with that one. Ah. Ooh, okay. I think I have to heal her. Oh, what a bad round. That was damn, super bad rounds. to come. That's why. Ooh, I stopped him. I uh, got a little bit lucky with the whip as well. Ooh. Close. Unfortunate. What? Okay, now the game is trolling me. Come on, don't be like this. At least give me a fair chance at the next phase. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. out of that one. Didn't work. No! Oh no, I messed up. Yeah, that's my bad. I don't think I'm gonna try anymore for today. Um... I kind of get how the fight goes. There's probably like an extra couple of move sets per phase, and then I have to trial and error it. I, I got the first phase fairly, fairly locked down. I think. I think I can do it. It's probably gonna take a couple of attempts. By a couple, I mean it's gonna take an entire episode probably, because I have no idea what phase three is. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Um, am I gonna do anything? 
Yeah, I should probably acquire the final skill there. Five points for that one. Maybe also three points for this. And maybe two for this. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, anyways, um, have a nice day. And I will see you in the next one.